Hey guys, it's Hugh here, and I wanted to follow up with you on my last series about the hacked WordPress sites. And I definitely have believe I've come up with a technique or a process for basically getting rid of this. Uh, and if, I believe I've more or less systematized the way to do it. So I'm going to show you how. And what I have here is I believe this is an infected site. And the reason that I believe that is because the telltale sign of the pop-up menu is not working over here on this side. So when you click on the item, the menu sometimes pops up, but other times it just doesn't work at all. You may have a site where if you click on the uh, the top level, then the menu opens, but it's too late because the link has already linked over to the next page so you can't even click the menu anyway. In my case right here it's not even opening at all so I'm pretty sure that this website is hacked because I think that little hack code puts in some kind of script that interferes with the Ajax stuff with the menus and so forth. So I'm going to show you what I go through to get this over with and I'm going to show you what doesn't work as well first thing I'm going to start up by doing is upgrading my WordPress installation to 3.8.1. I think, what's, uh, which one am I on? I'm on um, an older one. Whatever it is. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and update it now. And I won't make you wait through that and pause the video and do it. Okay, and WordPress is updated to 3.8.1, and let's see if the menus work now. No, they don't work. They don't work at all. Let's see if I click on the item, does the menu even open? No, it still doesn't. So, the thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to my uh, C, C panel here in HostMonster. <coughs> and I'm going to go into the file manager right here which opens up this screen here and then I'm going to go to the top level and I'm bringing you guys into the back cave now so you can see what's going on and first thing I'm going to do is come down to WP config and I'm going to open that in the code editor and it's just so painfully obvious that this file has been completely hacked because this is the real code here for the WP config and this here above is the hacked code that has been inserted by some other process. And this is not a Windows server, this is a big company Linux uh, server farm. So whatever's going on, it's not a Windows exploit, it's you know it's a WordPress exploit. So I'm gonna get rid of this code right here. All I'm gonna do is just scroll down until I find this where the beginning PHP tag starts to the real code that's down here and I'm going to delete everything before that so now it looks just like this and this is your typical WP config file and I'm going to save that so I just saved it and you can see all my password here but I'm believe me I'm going to block this out or change the password. Um, I'm just doing this to sharing this to show you how things work. Okay, so now I got this one. Now um, there's a couple of others. Now if I go into WP includes and I find the index.php file if there is one. There isn't one in that. So then we're going to go to WP content and now we're going to get the index.php file here click the code editor and again there is that lovely disgusting hacked code right there and in fact the only thing that's supposed to be there is this where it says PHP silence is golden so I'm going to get rid of all of that code because apparently don't we don't have a process yet that actually does that automatically or whatever and I'm going to close this up so you can see uh, the save button. So I close the save button and I get rid of that. So now I'm going to go to also 
WP admin. And I'm going to click the index.php file. And I'm going to open the same and just do the same thing. And that one seems to be OK. OK, so I don't see any weird code on that. Thank God. Um, but now if you go into themes and click themes, and then you click index.php, I bet I'm going to find some on there. Yep, there it is. Oop, there it is. So I'm going to get rid of that too. And again, this is just a silence is golden page right here. It's like all it should be right there. Let's get rid of that and save it. Close it. And also on um, plugins, I think that the index PHP of that may as well be quite hacked. So let's take a look. And yes, it certainly is. It, you saw me do this the other day, but I'm doing this again for a reason. So you're going to see in just a second. Save this. And that seems to be most of the standard files. But if I go back to the WP admin section, I refresh it completely. Let's see if the menus start to work now. And I'm going to guess, no, they're still not going to work. And that's right. They still don't work. So what's left? Well, here's what I'm going to do. So I've got 2012, 2013, and 2014. And I'm going to add 2011 and switch to 2011. I'm going to pause the video and come back after I do. OK, so I searched on those. You can see I already have 2012, 2013, 2014 installed. That means they're taking up areas in my file. So like if I click on themes here, you can see 2014, 13, and 12. And those all have files and lots and lots of files in there. And I found that they're very vulnerable to this exploit. Mainly the themes is kind of the biggest problem here. So what I do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to install, say, 2010. And just going to go ahead and completely activate 2010. Then I'm going to go and delete all these other themes. I know this is a real PITA, but this is the best way because there's just too many files in these themes to go in and erase the hacking, right? So what we do is go theme details and delete. And unfortunately, if you, you know, you may have to do this to get rid of this. Unless you just want to start completely fresh from a new install. But um, I believe I'm going to be able to make those menus work just by getting this done here. Let's find out. <coughs> okay, so we just have the one that I just installed, right? And I'm going to click refresh. I'm still not seeing those menus working again. I'm going to just keep refreshing a few times and just see. So there's still some more. Now, I haven't addressed any of the plugins yet. So let me just take a look, just a quick look. And did I? That one's fine. So I think I did that one. Let's just check, though, inside the other ones. That one. Perhaps. Yeah, so these plugins are hacked too. So, what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to just delete the plugins. Or de you can actually deactivate them and it will do the same thing. But you might as well, you know, delete them. And now the menus start to work, you see. Now you might say it was just that plugin, but I don't think that's the case. I'm pretty sure it was the. So if I activate Ask Akismet, Akismet, however you pronounce it. Okay, the plugins still work, but let me refresh. Oh, good, they're still working. So that one's good.
Okay, so I checked the contents of that plugin, which happens to be <laughs> an old plugin that I was working on last year. And if this is one another file that they, it seems to attack as a functions PHP, which themes often has that file too. So when I open that one, and it, of course it has this hacking code in it, and then it has you know the other code that's supposed to be in the plugin after that. So that's why when we disabled that plugin, the menu started to work. Okay, so this is where I'm going to try to isolate this. and just save that now you see we have that activated so I'm gonna just try refreshing the whole thing and see if those menus will start to work now and there they do see there you go so that's basically what you have to do now it's in in the those main files that I told you which are the WP config the index.php in the WP content themes plugins directory and then often the plugins and the themes themselves have been affected so you may have to delete themes reinstall themes delete plugins reinstall plugins but you can get rid of it and that's how now that uh, this virus or whatever it is is gone off of here the best thing to for me to do or for anyone to do now would be to install word fence as one of our members suggested because from now word fence will track whenever any changes are made to files that way you'll know when if and when some one of these processes actually changes your files on the server and of course you just would do that by going add new and search word fence like that and it's a free plug-in word fence security so I'm not going to go into how to use this now but if you install that and turn it on it's going to track any weird changes that are made to files like that because somehow so, you know some process is getting the control uh, the permission to write to those files and word fence will stop that word fence is not smart enough to do what I just did and come <laughs> part you know excuse me but just isn't smart enough to go through the files, figure out which one is causing the problem, and get rid of them all. It's it just doesn't recognize the code. Uh, so, but it will, like I said, it will stop processes or at least alert you if some process has changed your file, and it will tell you what files were changed, and that's really important. That, that's a total help right there. Okay, so this is Hugh out. Another fascinating dive into the world of hackdom. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again soon. Have a good weekend.